Good day, friends. It's me again, Lori Gann Smith, with information and tutorial about how to make a window mask. So what you're going to need is going to be a little bit varied depending on your kit. So we're going to cover all the contingencies. The first thing you're going to need are your two pieces of fabric. One is going to be cut to nine by six inches and that is going to be the bottom fabric and the other piece is going to be cut to nine by four and a half inches and that's going to be your top fabric so the top fabric is smaller and goes on the top of the window and this fabric goes on the bottom of the window you're going to need the window itself which is a pre-cut piece of vinyl and I don't know if you can see this but there's a little mark on one of the long edges and that indicates that that's the top of the vinyl piece okay and that'll be important when we start putting it together you will also have a pipe cleaner to go in the top for a nose wire you will either have elastic which you will cut for each mask you need two pieces of seven inch long elastic or you will have some twill tape and you should cut that twill tape to 45 inches. You need one 45 inch piece for each mask, okay? This particular twill tape is nylon and so I have singed the ends here to seal them, um, but you may get uh, cotton twill tape and if you get cotton twill tape, you'll just simply tie a knot in each end to keep it from raveling, okay? Um, you'll need scissors. You will need a measuring tool. You'll need your sewing machine. And you're also gonna need for this, you're gonna need a serger, okay? All right, so let's get started. So I've set up this um, sort of little ironing space so that I can show you what we're gonna do with the iron. First of all, some of your windows may be a little crinkly or creased or whatever from the uh, vinyl being on um, a uh, like a roll and so what you can do is you can lay that on your ironing surface and use a press cloth I'm just going to use my fabric and I'm going to lay it right over it and I'm going to just quickly give it just a little bit of heat and then let it lay there for just a minute and cool down and what that's going to do is it's going to flatten out your vinyl a little bit so now you can see my vinyl is nice and crease free okay so um, you can lay that aside, all right? We're just gonna lay it to the side. And then we're gonna take our two pieces of fabric, okay? It doesn't matter which you work on first, but each one of them you're going to fold in half lengthwise, okay? And we're gonna press that crease in. All right. So there's my larger piece, and here's my smaller piece. And I'm just going to lay it lengthwise and I'm just going to press that crease in. All right. And once you do that, you're going to want to turn on the long edge, the long open edge. You're going to want to turn up a half an inch on each of these raw edges. So I'm just going to set my little gauge here and I'm going to turn up half an inch. Okay. And I'm just going to press that up all the way across, all right? And then I'm just gonna fold this back and fold my other edge up to meet it. And I'm just gonna press that all the way across. So I just wanna make sure that both of those raw edges are pressed. So if I open up the fabric, it looks like this. And we're going to do that on both this small piece, that's our top piece, and we're going to do it to the bottom piece. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to measure a half an inch with my gauge here. And I should do it at this end so you can see it better. So I'm just measuring a half an inch up, okay? And then I'm just going to press that in place all the way across. And then once I get that pressed, I'm just gonna fold on my crease that I've set in there and fold this under and just match the edges. Okay, and 
and then this is my larger piece with its half inch folded in, okay? All right, so that's the first step. So next what we're gonna do is take our pipe cleaner and we're going to fold in the ends of the pipe cleaner just so that, like this, so that we don't have a sharp edge of the wire sticking out. So I'm just folding in the very end and pressing it down, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my smaller piece and I'm gonna open it up and I'm going to put this wire in the center of the fold and then I'm gonna fold this over, okay? So I've got my pipe cleaner in there gonna fold this over and I like to stick a pin in there just to hold the pipe cleaner in place so basically the pipe cleaner is right here and my pin is just holding it up in the fold okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stitch around the pipe cleaner to hold it in place in that fold all right so right here beside the pipe cleaner I'm gonna lay my presser foot down and I'm going to stitch forward and back, just a back stitch, and then I'm gonna put my needle in below where the um, pipe cleaner is. I'm gonna raise my presser foot, and then I'm gonna stitch just below where the pipe cleaner is in the fold. And I can feel where that pipe cleaner ends. So I'm gonna just, so just past that, put my needle in, pivot the work, and then back stitch again up and down here to the edge of the fold to hold that pipe cleaner in. So what I have now is a channel that contains that pipe cleaner where this can be bent around the nose of the person wearing the mask, okay? Then we'll trim our excess threads and we'll go on to the next step. So the next step here is we want to insert the top and you can see that little mark in the middle, okay? And we wanna make sure that that's in the center and it is, okay, of our vinyl. And then what we wanna do is we wanna fold our smaller piece of fabric um, in half so we can find out where that fold is. And I'm just gonna crease it with my thumb and my forefinger so I can see that that's where the center is. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert this between the pressed half inch, okay, of my fabric. And I'm going to put a pin very carefully through that um, vinyl. We don't wanna make too many holes in the vinyl because then um, it'll become perforated and able to pull out of the stitching, okay? So now I'm going to start at one end and you could pin this if you want and I'm gonna stitch that vinyl between the layers of fabric all the way across so that I have this top piece of fabric and then I have a panel of vinyl or a window of vinyl. So I've got my panel of vinyl inserted between the layers. I'm gonna put my needle in. And just a word about stitch length here. You wanna use a longer stitch length for sewing in this vinyl. Um, I'm almost using a basting stitch because we wanna put as few holes in that vinyl as we, as we can. So we're gonna stitch forward and then we're gonna stitch back just a couple of stitches. And then holding this vinyl between the layers, we're gonna stitch very close to the edge of the fabric, okay? And we're stitching something curved to something straight. So you may get a little tuck in here, okay? Because this fabric stretches and the vinyl does not. And if you do, you can just simply use a pin or needle to like lay that little tuck down, okay? So I'm gonna pull this out of here and I'm gonna continue on. If you have a walking foot, this can be 
eliminated because if you use the walking foot to sew this on here, it should help distribute your fabric on the top. But if you don't have a walking foot, you're gonna end up with some little tucks and that's perfectly fine. It will not um, hurt the efficacy of the mask. Okay, and we'll back stitch here. And you can see that we have attached the vinyl between the two folded layers of the fabric, okay? Now we're gonna do the same thing to our bottom piece of fabric, to the bottom of the window. So I'm gonna take my pieces here. I'm gonna take the window piece and I'm gonna just fold it and make a little crease in my vinyl so I know where the center of that vinyl is. You could also take a Sharpie and make just a, like, like a tiny little mark right here so you can see where the center is, okay? And then I have folded in half my bottom piece of fabric and found where the center of that is on the open edge, okay? Like that. And then we're gonna insert the vinyl in at the center. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And again, I'm just gonna place a pin. Now the vinyl, I didn't mention this when we did the top, but as long as the vinyl is inserted about a quarter of an inch, it could be inserted a little more than that, but you just want about a quarter to three eighths of an inch inside the fold of the fabric that you're dealing with. If you insert the vinyl too far in, what happens is this starts to fold up over the vinyl and it just makes it look weird on the face. It won't hurt the efficacy of the mask, but it just looks a little strange. So now that we've got our center in place, what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert a little more of the vinyl at the end, because what we want to happen is we want these two pieces of fabric to touch on the end where we're inserting, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and just put a pin here. And again, we don't wanna make too many holes in the vinyl, but as long as we only pin it once, we should be good. And so that's what we're gonna try to do is insert this vinyl so that we have a mask that has a window, a clear window in the middle of it. So I've surged these edges on the side just to finish the edge. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the mask over to whatever you've decided is the inside. And we're gonna fold up about a half an inch on each side to stitch down. So I'm gonna put a couple of pins in here so that, because it's a little bit of a curved edge and so you wanna make sure that your amount that you folded in stays constant. So there's one side and I, I could put one here but I don't wanna put a pin through the vinyl there. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna pin the other side exactly the same. So now we're gonna sew this edge down. We're gonna sew right across the surging so that we leave a channel open. Okay. And we're gonna back stitch just a little bit. And then we're gonna stitch this channel. Again, I would use almost a basting stitch for this because you are sewing through the vinyl and then back stitch at the end and then do the exact same thing to the other side. So we have a channel there, okay? So now what we have is this mask that has the nose wire at the top and the window. And if we look on the, the back, we can see the surged edge and we have these channels on each side. Okay, and I'm gonna move my camera back just a little bit here, so bear with me. There we go. So if you have strings or ties, you're gonna take um, a large eye needle. This is um, like a, a plastic canvas needle. You could use a metal needle that has a blunt tip. Okay, so either one of these is fine. You're just gonna need a big eye. Okay, and we're gonna thread our tie, th 
through there and we're just going to lace it through and what we want to do is we want to start on the bottom edge remember that's the wider part of the mask and we're just going to thread our tie through there okay oops too high and then we're going to thread back down from the top to the bottom and what that's going to do is it's going to give us a loop at the top to put around the head and over the ears and then it's going to give us this at the bottom I'm going to even that up a little bit so that it can be tied around the back so all of this goes around your head okay if you have elastic so i'm going to pull this tie out and show you if you have elastic all you're going to do is insert the ends into the channel okay and you can pin that in there and then make sure it's not twisted and pin the other end into the uh, the other end into the other end of the channel okay so you're just going to insert it in there about a quarter to half an inch and then pin that in there okay and then what you'll do is you'll put this on the machine and you'll simply stitch and back stitch several times over the ends of the elastic through the mask so then you'll end up with um, ear elastics on each side and and here's what it looks like when it's finished so you can see someone's mouth. Hello!